Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of T-Man's How To. Today we're going to be transforming Fans Toys Spoiler, aka Yay. Masterpiece Equivalent Stunticon Breakdown, from Robot Mode to Vehicle Mode, and then back to Robot Mode again. I have a full review for this guy if you missed it. It's going to be linked in the description and it will be at the end of this video. I believe that I am going to start with the legs. The legs are probably the most complicated part, but the main thing you want to do is get these little red things out of the way. They just get in the way you're probably going to be readjusting. Uh, I suggest maybe putting them in this orientation right here. Now. We need to dislodge this panel right here from the shin. Get that out of there. Once we pull that out, we can reorient this into this orientation right there. Now we can open this door, dislodge this panel right here from a little peg right there. Open all that up. I am going to now take the foot and rotate the foot like this into that orientation. They tell you to do this last, but we can do it first right here. Now get this panel right here, straight down like that. This panel right here needs to go up like that. With the leg a little bit bent this type of way, we can go ahead and rotate this wheel outside right there. And we can, for now, shut shut that door. Or at least have it partially closed. Now here, with the leg straightened, we need to get this panel through here so that this is right there on the inside of the where the wheel was sitting. Before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm gonna do that on the other leg. And there's some other stuff we need to do here before we can start changing things around. So, dislodge this panel right here, which is very difficult when you first open it. Take this double hinge situation and put it like that. Open the door up a little bit and dislodge this peg and the cream part of his leg from the blue part. Take that out if it's giving you freaking trouble. Spudger. Spudger is your friend. I'm going to have a link so you can buy one of them for yourself in a description. But open this up. Shut this panel. Pull this out. And we can go ahead and rotate the foot so that it collapses right here. And shut this door a tiny, not all the way. Bend the knee right here and rotate this wheel through there to the other side and now now with the leg straight we can put this inside of here but it has to be like right beside this cream part right there and now before we do anything else I'm going to lift up these flaps on his butt. Dislodge this right here. And detach this center one as well. And now we can rotate the legs around. Shut them how they were. There's a peg on the back so that you can keep that closed right there. And now we're gonna we're gonna still leave things like they are because we need to start messing with this top part the arms they unpeg right here you don't want to risk the paint because this whole thing is fully paint painted i suggest starting things off with a spudger because fingernails aren't as clean clean to open things like that as a spudger is rotate the hand this way with the thumb out like that if you pry this open wide enough, you can just swing the hand in here like that. And we can go ahead and shut that. Same deal over here. I typically wouldn't care about using a spudger so much, 
but this is not my figure. Turn that around, put the hand in there like that, shut that. Okay, now we're gonna just kind of leave the arms like just out of the way for now. And now we need to separate this stuff right here. So we'll separate that, which will dislodge this. Separate that, which will dislodge this. Once that's dislodged, we should be able to, in theory, bring this up right here, push the head in like that. Now back here, we need to get all of this windshield out, straighten everything up, maybe push this up like that, that's good. Bring this filler piece in, bring that filler piece in, shut that, shut that. And now with the arms kind of in this orientation, you should be able to bring this up and start like moving this down to the point where we can rotate these waist pieces around there. Once you get them in there, we can leave this dangling free. Now we need to take these parts which are tight out of package. I had to unscrew these screws to loosen that up. Get it down into this orientation. Like you can bring them down, but you won't be able to rotate it. That second rotation that you need to do, you won't be able to do that more than likely without unscrewing it. Now we should be able to rotate this bit right here. Make sure that this piece that we moved on the inside stays right there as we rotate this forward sometimes this part right here this secondary knee the double jointed part of the knee will try to bend make sure that doesn't bend keep everything straight so it can get into this orientation and give this panel on the bottom a good squeeze rotate this part in right here to become the hood or the engine cover and we can rotate this in over here, connect everything right there. As you bring it in, it's, things start snapping and pegging together fluidly. So yeah, yeah, keep this straight. Let's try it out again over here, keeping this lower knee straight without making this little blue piece right here lose its location so keep rotating move this in shut that I guess at this point we can start pegging this stuff together bring this over you know what happened to me this thing that I said keep straight that rotated in so, yeah, pay attention if things aren't coming together smoothly because this is a smooth transformation. Something's not right. The doors will be a hassle. You kind of have to have them like kind of half open. So just try to keep them as best you can like that. Now these need to rotate this way. But actually this part right here needs to rotate until it's in that orientation all right once it's in that orientation make sure that things are straight this way this is right here basically it needs to fold out and start put it like this so we can rotate it right here it will bump into everything unless you lift the arm up into this orientation now we can put it like this and now we need to rotate the bicep and start bending things like this. Rotate the bicep, start bending it like this. But we need to now bring this down 
before we bring that down, we need to shove the shoulder inside. Get this little nub behind that while getting this into or don't peg this on yet because this little nub it's important that this gets in there first and once that gets in there you can peg that little peg right here so get that in there while bringing this together so maybe you can peg this one in last come on you Yeah, there we go. Let's try that a tiny bit smoother. <laughs> Get this up with things like, like that and set this. Now this worked the way I was trying to do it. Now we need to get these straight and rotate. Make sure the doors are open a little bit or it's gonna fight you. Rotate this stuff down. Kind of peg these into place. Get that into place. Shut the doors while we bring this panel down. I guess at this point the doors can shut and we can shut that. Final thing. We need to push this up and bring this down right there. And now he is a car. For the car functionality, I talk about that in the full review. So I'll let you see that. All right, reverse transformation. First thing you wanna do, cause it's gonna be something easy to forget. I would try to grab here for leverage, but push this little thing up right there. Don't like grab right there. This feels sturdy, but I still wouldn't trust it. You're gonna need a spudger more than likely, unless you have good fingernails to dislodge this freaking door. And as you see, even with the spudgers, it's still difficult to get out there. I would also, Use the spudger for eh, dislodging this right there. Let's do that. But actually, it's this piece right here. Get that. Get that going right there. Spudgers are typically smooth on the edges, but try to get to somewhere where you're not going to be scraping the paint off. Once you do that, and maybe one other area where you need the spudger is definitely here. But once you do that, you, sh you should be decently good to go to get things started. All right, now let's start. Shifting this up out of here. Like that's coming up where maybe we can shut the doors a little tiny taste. this up off of here lift this up and now get these doors back out of the way and now we can start unpegging things like right here I'm trying not to use the spudger but it's a lot easier with a freaking spudger. <laughs> I've sold a lot of these spudgers since I put a link in my description. Because you, you definitely need it for this guy. And now we need to get this. Get this panel on peg from here. On both sides. There's a little peg that goes right behind that. So that's the good thing about this figure. When you get into car mode, it's a solid freaking car and I, I can't take that away from it.
And now we should be able to move the arms up out of here, or the shoulders, I should say, up out of there to get them out of the way. Now we need to like keep the shoulders like kind of straight like they are. Bring this down, and we should be able to get these panels out more. These side panels, but kind of has to be flat. And now once you do that, you should be able to lift this out and bring the head up. Back here, you can bring this up, unfold these filler pieces, on both sides, unfold these filler pieces, and now this needs to go up in here, like fully, completely, like that needs to bend like that. And then this bends right here. It's so solid for the car mode that you won't even remember that it does suppose a bend right here. But let's actually leave everything up here like it is until we get done with the feet down here. We can start separating here and rotating this out. Separate there. Rotate that out. And now we can start bringing things or well split them and now we can start bringing this joint down this way but make sure that you put this just just out of the way basically while you're rotating this up this panel right here with the leg straight and the knee kind of bent back right here of this part of the knee we should be able to get that out and get everything straight right here. And now we need to bend this and bend that like that. I believe it's in that orientation. While we're still messing around here, we need to get this wheel back inside into this orientation right there. Straighten that back up. We can pull this panel that's in here down like that. Open this door up. And after you open the door up, you can shut this. If you do it in the reverse order, you will not be able to open that door up. Worth crap. Bring the feet down like this. Kind of have it angled, or we can adjust it after we go ahead and close this leg with that peg into there and now we need to just peg this into that slot and make sure that this actually goes into this area right here but once you snap that together we can move the foot forward shut this and bring this around right here now let's try all that over again on this side we can open this up, kind of get it out of the way in the middle. Start rotating the leg downward in this orientation. But actually, we need to let's bring this up. Start bringing that down in this orientation. This part right here, bring over into this orientation. Bring wheel or kind of bend the knee again and bring the wheel inside like this this panel right here is easy to forget bring that panel down bring the leg straight again make sure this part is still out of the way it's this this is the most awkward part right there with the door open we can shut this and we can now grab the foot Rotate it in this orientation, shut the door, and bring this in. Making sure to peg the peg right here into the back of the legs really tightly. If you have a big gappy space, you know you didn't bring this down, and that's a problem. We can bring the foot forward. And now this keeps moving around until you get it into this orientation and peg that peg right there. And we can rotate this over top of the wheel. 
Yay. Now we can grab this crotch skirt. Grab this right here. Start moving these back up into this center orientation. If you loosen these too much and they keep falling out, I would suggest throwing it tighter. And now we can rotate. Oh, wait. Lift this part of the crotch up to you. And now we can rotate this around. Bring these flaps back down. Peg this back into place to keep that together. And now we should start being able to bring this stuff down right here and start pegging that together front and back. The arms, bring it down, rotate it this way. And now we can open this up. If you open this door enough, you can clear that. In the instructions, they tell you to ball the fist up, but if you open that wide enough, you can clear it. Get the hands however you see fit. Rotate this behind the arm. It doesn't want to clear the body, but yeah, there we go. We need it into that orientation. So let's start with that. It rotates out that way and you kind of have to clear the body and turn it in this orientation. It won't, it stops if you try to do it this way. So don't force it, fold it up this way. I'm going to rotate the bicep, bring that down and open this up. If you open it wide enough, you can clear it, shut it tightly. Get the hand however you see fit and yeah you should be good to go and his freaking robot mode thank y'all for watching this thank you matt the bot supplier for supplying this figure for me to do these videos with i really appreciate it T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.